As the sun dips below the horizon, the night falls. And the universe just fades into view. And at first you see the bright planets. I can see Venus over there. And then the stars appear one by one. Thousands of them shining in the sky. And then, as it gets darker and darker, the Milky Way appears. A vast swathe of billions and billions of suns as you look out towards the centre of our Milky Way galaxy. But I think, for me, the most magical thing you can see in the sky with the naked eye is just below the constellation of Cassiopeia, the W of stars in the sky. There. Look at that. Actually, I've got to say, that's amazing. Well, See, that misty patch of light is not a cloud in the sky. It's not even gas and dust in our galaxy. That is another galaxy. It's the Andromeda galaxy, which is roughly the same size as our own, an island of hundreds of billions of stars, 25 million, million, million kilometers in that direction. Like the Milky Way, Andromeda is a spiral galaxy two ringed arms circling a light-filled centre. The core of Andromeda is packed with millions of old red stars. Very few new stars are born here. In contrast, its spiral arms shine with the light from clusters of hot, young blue stars. The light that pours from this stellar city connects us to a remarkable time in the story of human evolution. The light that I've just captured in my camera began its journey two and a half million years ago. At that time, on Earth, there were no humans. Homo habilis, our distant ancestors, were roaming the plains of Africa. And as those light rays travelled through the vastness of space, our species evolved, and thousands and thousands and thousands of generations of humans lived and died. And then, two and a half million years after their journey began. These messengers from the depths of space and from way back in our past arrived here on Earth. And I just captured them and took that picture. <laughs>